Hello all, welcome back. So far we have been working on the public data sets, right? So we have explored the public data set. We imported the data set into the BigQuery console and we wrote some select queries and perform certain operations on it, right? So in this video, let us try to create our own data set, fine? For this purpose, I have a sample data set, which is nothing but the iris data set. So here I have the different columns like sepal length, width, and then petal length, petal width, and the species. Okay. So let us see how to create a sample of this iris data set into the BigQuery console. Okay. I'm creating the iris data set within the my first project itself okay so in order to do that what are you supposed to do just click on the three dots you know right so and then click on create data set so this is the project id which is my first project and i want to leave it as such and the data set id it can have letters numbers and underscores okay so i'll create it as iris data set and the location I'll select uh, Asia South one Mumbai. Next, what is called as the default table expiry? This is nothing but if you want to specify that your table wanted to expire in certain days, then you can specify this. Okay. I'm creating this table only for this training purpose. So I wanted to get expired within five days. Okay. So I'm giving five and this table will get expired within five days. Okay. And next the advanced options. Usually it is the easiest way to manage the encryption by using the Google manage encryption key. But sometimes customer would prefer to manage their own key for encryption in Google Cloud. Okay. And if that's the case for you, you can use the customer manage encryption key. But here we are not going to do that. So we are going to use the Google manage encryption keys only. Okay. So I'll simply create the data set. So you can see here within the project, this iris data set is created. And when you click on the expand button, nothing is there because there are no tables created. So what all can be done with this iris data set? Click on three dots and you can create a table, you can share it with somebody, you can delete it or open a new tab, new split tab like that. Okay. So let us now create a new table. In order to create a table, if you see here, the source can be in any format, like it can be initially, it can be an empty table, or you can create a table from the Google Cloud Storage, and then um, you can upload any file from the device, and then you can also uh, upload files from the drive as well. Uh, then you know Google Big Table, right? Which is a NoSQL database, or uh, you can get the data from that as well. Or you can also upload the data from Amazon S3 buckets and Azure Blob Storage. Okay. Now we are going to create an empty table. So let us fix with empty table. And this is the project. This is the data set. I don't want to make any changes to that. And this table name, I'll just give it as Iris. Okay. Table type, we can leave it as native table as it is. There are also options for partitioning. So usually we do partitioning in case of the streaming data. So here we do not have any streaming data. So I am keeping it no partitioning. Also, we can also choose the clustering order. Here the data is very small and it is really a simple table. So we need not have any clustering order. And then go for the advanced option. And here I'll go for Google managed encryption key as it is. Click on create table. If you see here within the project, you have the iris data set and within that a table is created. So when you open this table, you can see like the schema does not contain any columns. This is because we did not give any columns into this table, right? So in order to add columns to this particular table, what can we do is just click on edit schema and then click on add field. So here the first column, it is sepal length. Okay. So I'm copying it from there and giving it a sepal length. And this is actually a float. So I'm just making it as float and I'm leaving it nullable. Okay. Next is sepal width. And this can also be a float data type. And again, the third one, just nothing but the petal length. And again, I'm making it as float. 
petal width and the last one would be the species and this I wanted to make it as string only and if you want any maximum length which has to be specified you can specify or else you can leave it as it is okay and now I'm clicking on save and here if you see the schema these are the column names or the field names which is sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and species also you have the data type assigned and whether it is nullable or not fine if you want to make any changes to this click on edit schema otherwise you can leave it as it is so our table is ready and we have added the columns to it so the schema is complete but we do not have the data so let us try to add data manually into the data set okay in order to do that let us open a query editor by default this gives me a select statement but i do not want that so i am removing all these and let us try to insert using the insert statement insert into this table so we have the insert into this particular table name followed by the column names so column names actually i'm copying it from this sheet I need to make it as comma separated followed by the values and here also I'm copying in the first row as it is make it comma separated that's it okay since the last column is a string I'm giving it within the single quotes okay so let us try to run this so here you can see one row is added to the iris table okay so in order to view uh, the loaded uh, data into the table i'm opening another query editor uh, and i'm making the query as select star from since it is a very small data set i'm giving it as star itself and i'm running it so here you can see like one row is inserted into the table so similarly i'm adding the other few rows into the table so let us try to add different species okay making it as a comma separated so again you get a statement like one row is added to iris so let us query it once again and you can see two rows are added to the iris data set okay hope you got an idea on how to create a data set and add new records to the data set in the next video, we will try to perform certain operations like update and delete to this iris table. Fine. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.